All right, so the Monte Carlo draw has just come out, and there are some really interesting couple of rounds to start with, especially first round matches. There's some absolute bangers. But let's go have a look at the players that are not playing in this event. All right, so only the three players not playing in this one. Of course, uh, Marin Cilic still hasn't come back quite yet from that knee injury. He's not playing. Uh, Rafa Nadal, he's also put out of this one. And Tommy Paul has also put out of this one due to an ankle problem. So a couple of injuries there, and a couple of big names that will not be playing in this one. Okay, so we've got 16 seeds in this one. It's actually a small 1,000 event that we're used to seeing. Top 8 seeds get a buy in the first round. Novak Djokovic he gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Sofiulin or a qualifier in the second round. They got Feast taking on Manorino. Winner of that will take on either Musetti or the number 13 seed Fritz in the second round. Then you got the number 11 seed Demonor. He takes on Stan Wawrinka. That is a blockbuster first round match. Definitely worth watching that one. Winner of that match will take on either Kopfer or Grigsport in the second round. Then you got Poprin taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 6 seed Rublev in the second round. So this Court is interesting. Djokovic, of course, is the big bad. Rublev, the defending champion. That could be obviously a quarterfinal. You've got Dimonor there. You've got Fritz, who played really well here last year. Of course, Musetti beat Djokovic. Definitely someone to watch out for in this section. And of course, Wawrinka. Definitely got to watch out for him as well in this section. So, uh, yeah, very interesting section of the draw. But I think for Djokovic, pretty manageable. All right. Next section of the draw, you got number three seed Alcaraz. Gets a buy in the first round. Uh, he'll play the winner of FAA uh, or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Zong taking on Giron, winner of that will take on either a qualifier, uh, number 14 seed, Umber in the second round. Then you got the number 10 seed, Herkes, taking on Draper. Another great first round matchup. A winner of that will take on either Lehechka or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Tabillo taking on another qualifier. Winner of that will take on the number 8 seed, Kasparud, in the second round. So, really fun matches early, early days, of course. Uh, you got to watch out for Alcaraz. Didn't play here last year. Had to pull out due to injury. Uh, Rude, also got to watch out for him. He's back on his favorite surface. We know what he can do on the clay. Her catch is another one. Watch out for him on clay. A little a bit sneaky on clay. Uh, also on Bear, who was great before the Sunshine Double. Let's see if he can recapture that form. So yeah, and also I would look out for FAA as well. Because of course, Felix has played well on clay in the past. And also against Elkers in the second round, that is going to be a blockbuster. Of course, the winner of this section will take on the winner of the Djokovic section. So we could be getting Djokovic versus Elkaraz in a semi-final. We could be getting Djokovic versus Her catch in a semi or maybe even Djokovic versus Rude if you want to get something a little different or if you don't think Djokovic is going to make it maybe Alcaraz versus Rublev maybe you think it's going to be Alcaraz versus Fritz you know, maybe if you want to go something a little different. But, man, I feel like the top section, a little bit stacked. But uh, there's definitely better matches down in the second half of the draw. Let's go down there now. Next section of the draw, you've got number five seed Zverev. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Evans or Ovna in the second round. Then you've got Jerry taking on Echeverry. Very fun matchup to see that one because those guys play, were very active on the clay in February. So really keen to see how that one plays out. Winner of that will take on either Jera or the number 12 seed City Pass in the second round. Then you got the number 15 seed Hashnov taking on Norrie. Winner of that will take on either Sarundalo or a qualifier in the second round. Then you got Monfils taking on Thompson. Winner of that will take on the number four seed Medvedev in the second round. Now this section is insane. There are so many tough matches. Obviously Zvera playing really well. Medvedev obviously playing well on clay last year and City Pass has won this twice before. I also got to watch over Hashnov. Has played well on clay as well in the past. Also, Monfils. Keep an eye out for him. And I'd also be looking out for Jarry, who is a proven clay court guy, as we saw in uh, in February. All right, in the bottom section of the draw, you've got number seven seed, Runa. Gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on either Anaudi or Rusovori in the second round. Then you've got Kichmenovic taking on Berrettini. Great to see Berrettini back in the draw. Winner of that would take on either Vachero or the number nine seed, Dimitrov, in the second round. Then you got the number 16 seed Bublik taking on Choric. Winner of that will take on either Struff or Baez in the second round. Then you got Korda taking on Fakina. Great first round matchup. Winner of that will take on the number two seed Sinner in the second round. So Sinner has a very tricky start to his clay court season, which is going to be really interesting to see how Sinner does because that is the question that we have, right? Can Sinner play like he has been playing on clay? Can he do that? We'll find out. Uh, of course, we've got to watch out for Sinner. Got to watch out for Runa in this one as well. Made the final here last year. Watch out for Dimitrov as well. I think he made, might have made a semi-final or a final here in the past as well. Uh, and some other, other players you've got to watch out for. Definitely for Kina. He did make a final here two years ago. Baez, proven on clay in February. He won a couple of titles back on the uh, on the clay courts in South America. So very fun to see him uh, in this section. Of course, this section will take on that Medvedev section. So if you want to go by the seeds, Sinner versus Medvedev. But it doesn't feel like we're going to get that Sinner Medvedev. We might get Sinner versus Vera. If you want to go with maybe something a little uh, more clay court friendly, maybe even Sinner versus Sidzi Pass, which is super clay court friendly because, of course, Sidzi Pass is very good on clay. Uh, maybe if you don't want to go Sinner, maybe it's going to be, you know, Zvera versus Runa. 
Maybe Sidipas Runa. Maybe it's Medvedev Dimitrov, if you want to go a little wild. But this section is uh, is going to be very interesting. The bottom half of the draw, how it plays out, especially early on for Sinner. But let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who's going to win? Monte Carlo. You could see someone like Zverev. You could see, you know, Sinner continuing the form. Maybe Runa goes one better. Maybe Djokovic finally wins his first title of the year. Maybe Alcaraz wins this title for the first time. Maybe Kaspar Ruud gets a big title. I mean, there's so many players you can pick from out of this one. Monte Carlo for 2024. We're going to be watching it all next week, starting on Monday.